the thing that really has guided me through and my journey just as a follower of Christ is just the intimate, genuine relationship that I have with Jesus. And it continues to to grow. Um, I continue to learn more, not just about um, who he is, but learn more about myself and what his purpose is for me. I remember um, probably the thing, uh, when I was 16, um, my mom lost her battle with cancer. Um, she battled cancer for about four years, and she was really young. She was 50 when she went home to be with Jesus. Wow. And so that's kind of a crucial age because, you know, I felt like I was kind of at a fork in the road. And it's like, all right, do I really, you know, believe this Jesus that my mom and, and my dad were are in love with? Or, you know, do I just kind of go searching for something else? Because I was, I mean, 16, man, you're really vulnerable. And, and now, you know, God takes away the love of our lives. Well, he didn't take away, but the, the cancer... Uh, she she lost the battle of cancer, um, and so man, it, it, I I can't really explain it other than man, just the peace of God mm. that I experienced even at 16 was so real, and it was almost as like the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and letting me know that you know what this is there's gonna be some sadness, there's gonna be some pain along the journey, but you need to rest assured, son, that I'm walking with you, I'm with you every step of the way and so I could speak on me on behalf of my brothers in that even through our 30 year um, span our 30 year career um, you know we've made some choices that weren't great choices and that uh, typically would would get you into some trouble in, in the industry be it financially or whatever and and God would show up as we would humble ourselves and just as we would repent and he was man he's he's been so intimate with us um about two years ago i went through um divorce it's just the worst just thing that i've ever experienced to date um and again man you know it's like okay you know you don't uh you don't plan to be married to someone for 20 years to, to then end up apart or end yeah. up in the divorce. And so, man, God, um, I could tell you story after story of how he's just remained faithful to me and let me know that, you know what, that the, the, this divorce does not define, does not define you. And that, um, whether I knew it or not two years ago, that he still had an amazing, uh, plan for me and that life can still uh be amazing as i as i totally you know submit to yeah. him and his ways so i'm just i'm so grateful that um it's the thing that's helped me not to be a perfect dad but but to be uh a present dad in my boys lives uh and uh i'm just i'm thankful i'm thankful for for jesus i'm thankful um i love that he uh he goes before me uh, he, he's he's around me. He uh, the Holy Spirit is near to me, and I would tell anyone who's listening right now, man, if you're, you know, if you're in a predicament, and if you're confused and if you feel all alone, uh, there's a God that loves you. He's not mad at you, no matter what you're going through. There's a God that really sees you, and He has a purpose and a plan for you. He's got a destiny for you if you would just submit to Him. Um, surrender everything to him. He's willing to accept you just the way you are. 